sent down out of the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie. Enjoy everything. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff. We're just about set to get this one underway. Clancy takes it to 12. Tackle at the 29-yard line. The Bulldogs' offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks. But the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. From their own 30-yard line, second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. is it to the middle of the field and he hits him hard at the 38 yard line not a bad little play there yeah this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game tackle at the 46 yard line to be successful you've got to be able to come through on third down and that's just what they did with that big run from their own 46-yard line. It's first down. Here we go. Brought down around the 45-yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That brings us to the second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Tackle made at the 42. The quarterback kept it for himself and got the first down. I'll tell you what, you got to be a tough quarterback to run this kind of offense. He takes so many more hits and can really get banged around, even on a good day. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. And he's taken down around the 22-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Five wide. Quick throw, a couple of yards there. The defense respects this guy and knows they have to pay a lot of attention to him. He didn't have any room after that catch. From the 20 yard line, it's second down. He's taken down at the 23-yard line. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Tenth play of the drive. Quick throw out to the receiver. They'll bring him down at the 13. It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. Boy, what a throw by the quarterback. Almost equally excellent catch by the receiver, but the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop. And down he goes at the 11-yard line. They were able to slow down the option, but not quite enough to prevent the first. This is the 12th play of this drive.
it to an open man. He dropped it. Perfect timing to jar the ball loose and not pick up the penalty. That was a solid play. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 11-yard line. And he's tackled at the 11. This is the 14th play of this drive. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers, so that was a really good effort. This should be an easy field goal. This will make it a field goal game. Kicks up. And he's got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Wilkerson has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. And they can forget about returning this one. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Makes it out to about the 33. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And they make the stop right around the 36-yard line. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball on the 31. Tackled for a loss. He knew it was a run all the way and got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. And he's going to come up with a sack. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Chance is back to receive. Booming kick. He's to the 40, and he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. 3-0, Bulldogs. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's tackled around the 41-yard line. It's second and 10. Ball on the 41-yard line. Quick throw. Tackle at the 43. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. Forward to about the 40. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it second. From the 40 yard line. Second down. Slides 
slings it. Right down at the 37. and the offense is getting set to go for it. Gets it, he's in space. Out of bounds at about the 31. A risky call going for it, but it paid off. That showed some real composure there by this offense. He's going to try and scramble. They bring him down. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. Fires it out. Tackle made around the 19-yard line. From the 19 yard line, first down. Quick out to his receiver, and he's level at the six yard line. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Gets to about the five yard line. That brings in second and goal. They're at the five. It's second down. And he's taken down around the four yard line. Wood gets about a yard on the play. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Tackles him hard at the four-yard line. It's fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. It's up, and it splits the uprights. Wilkerson ready to kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. They're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all sides. And he's going to be sacked. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. And don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Very good tackle in space.
First and ten. Ball on the 39 yard line. And he holds that one in. And he is drilled at the 50 yard line. Well, the quarterback's able to find a soft spot in the defense, and he threw an accurate ball for a solid pickup. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Fires out to his wideout. To the 20. The 10. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. We've got a change at the quarterback position. Got to wonder how that's going to affect this offense. I would think the offensive coordinator and the head coach are just going to try to ease him into this game at the beginning. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance, but that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. From the five-yard line, second down. Play fake. Well protected. Now he's going to run with it. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. And really a nice run there by that quarterback. Well, great decision by the quarterback reading the defense, and as soon as he saw the open field, he cut it upfield and scored the touchdown. The kicker on the field. He'll try to put his team up by a point. And he adds the extra point. It was a seven-play, 75-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. Chance. Fields it at the 13. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And he's tackled right away. The Bulldogs are going to call their second timeout from their own 37-yard line. First down. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. He gets hit out of bounds at the 49-yard line. That makes it first and 10. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. Seven, six. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in, in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use this strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with the quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. <laughs> Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. Great first half and a tight ball game, and we're set to start quarter number three. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They're set to go for another round. He 
might have a chance. Runs outside for a nice game. That brings him second and five. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That's good for him. And down he goes around the 45 yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 45. Taken down around the 48 yard line. That's a game of seven. That'll bring up second and three. Go down, go down. Seven to one. He's got an opening. And he carries the ball for a nice game. From the 41 yard line. It's first down. Here he goes. They'll bring him down at about the 27 yard line. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. From the 12-yard line, first down. And he's tackled the nine-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. And here's another third down. And he gets the touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. A 10-play, 75-yard drive. And it results in a touchdown. So our score, 14-6. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Chance takes it to 12. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Now he's scrambling. Slides down. The quarterback scramble gains three yards. This junior is all over the field, especially in the running game. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. He scrambled. Decides to slide. Ray gains about two yards on the scramble. Come out in a five-wide set. He's going to go for the home run. He hauls it in, and they make the stop around the 28-yard line.
So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. gaining negative yards and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. It's a lot of pressure on that quarterback. And he just gets rid of it. And once again they'll come to the line trying to convert on third down. Across the middle. And a huge touchdown play. They need to tie it up here. That's exactly why they're going for two. And the defense stops the ground game. No two-point conversion there. A six-play, 78-yard drive. And they'll come away with six points after failing on the two-point conversion. I think the thing, Brad, that I'm seeing is the quarterback's taking advantage of some one-on-one -on -one opportunities on the outside for some big plays in this offense. So the score now, 14 to 12. Both these offenses stepping up and answering the bell. Who's going to blink first here? <laughs> exactly right. I've just been impressed with the way they've been able to execute. I mean, there's, there's a lot of pressure on them. Anytime you're feeling that the other offense can put points up on the board, there's a tendency to want to press. Neither one, neither one has done that up to this point, and right now it's going to come down to who can continue to execute, put points up. Pretty good-looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. He makes his way out to about the 35. From their own 35-yard line. First down. He's at midfield. At the 30, to the 20, to the 10. And they finally push him out at the 4. from the four looking for Pater. All the big boys are on the field now. Both teams have their big sets out there. They give to the tailback. And they're in. Touchdown. A powerful push by the line and a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. Big extra point here. It'll put him up by two scores. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. He heaves it deep, and he stays in bounds, and he hauls in a big one. First down.
Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. 21-12. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Scrambling around, and they got it. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. They come up to the line here at second down and 14 after the sack. He's going to try and scramble. Now he's going to run and watch out. And he's level at the 23. First and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. He's on the run. The ball is loose. Recovered by the defense. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with a turnover bug. They need to hold on to the football. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Fires out to his wideout, and he is drilled at the 37. Seven yard line. It's first down. And off to the left. He's at midfield. That's a great tackle at the 48 yard line. for a nice run. Seven yards there on that bit of misdirection. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And they get nice yardage on that run. He gets to about the 24-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. He gets out to about the 11-yard line. From the 11-yard line, first down.
Bulldogs taking their first time out of the half. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 13-yard line. He gets rid of this one. I wouldn't be surprised to see a little animosity brewing right now between these two sidelines. This team has a huge lead, and they're still firing the football in the air trying to get more points. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Takes the ball right. Boom around the corner. He makes it out to maybe the 10-yard line. This one should be makeable. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. He gets it up, and he's got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. And he hits him hard at the 19-yard line. That makes four sacks today. Well, this speed is difficult to defend because you have to try to keep them off balance so they can't use their quickness. And he stops the clock with a spike. Third down and long coming up here. Ball on the 19. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 21. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Throws a strike over the middle. Well, you can talk about offense all you want, and they were good today, but the defense was better. They come up with a play of the day, and that'll lead to the victory. They put some points on the board in their last drive, and they'll start this one in position to do much of the same. The defense has their backs against the wall here. They're really going to have to get aggressive if they want to keep the offense from scoring any points here. And down he goes at the 14. The Bulldogs, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout from the 14-yard line. First down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this block. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, the Grizzlies, 24, the Bulldogs, 12. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.